Comcast is defending its plan to acquire Time Warner Cable before the Senate Judiciary Committee Wednesday. Officials from the two companies took questions from the committee Wednesday afternoon. Senator Patrick Leahy leads the committee, which wants to know how this merger would change the consumer ecosystem. Consumers, though, don't want to hear complex legal jargon or obscure regulatory terms. Consumers want to know, is this merger good for them or not? Well, frankly, every one of us want to find out the same things. Comcast Executive VP David Cohen is defending the merger, saying it will make it easier for Comcast to build out network infrastructure and connect schools, libraries, and low-income households to the Internet. Critically, Cohen says this deal will not reduce competition in the marketplace, reasoning that Comcast and Time Warner don't directly vie for consumers and therefore can't reduce their options. That said, if the merger goes through, Comcast Time Warner would become a behemoth in the cable industry. The firm would control 28 percent of the U.S. cable market and between 34 and 40 percent of nationwide broadband access. Digital Trends wonders, with so much power across industries, why should Comcast innovate or upgrade when the majority of its subscribers have no viable alternative? Gene Kimmelman, CEO of Public Knowledge, testified at the hearing. He worried Comcast would position itself to dictate how much consumers must pay determine what packages of services consumers must buy, and influence what devices people can use to receive the type of video content they want. The worry comes despite promises from Comcast to extend its existing net neutrality obligations to its new Time Warner coverage areas. When it acquired NBC Universal in 2011, it promised the Federal Communications Committee it would treat all internet traffic across its networks equally through 2018. Meanwhile, public opinion of the deal is speaking for itself. Comcast secured the dubious honor of Consumerists' Worst Company in America Award Tuesday as it filed its merger paperwork with the FCC. Regardless of the outcome of Wednesday's meeting, Comcast's absorption of Time Warner is still subject to FCC and Justice Department approval. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.